super bright flashlight out of just a, a few simple materials. You'll need solder and a soldering iron, an LED, a switch, any kind of switch you want, two two inch pieces of wire, and about a one inch small piece, and some electrical tape. So first, we need to use electrical tape, and you'll need scissors for this. You'll take the electrical tape, you'll have to cut a small bit, just enough to fit around the two AA batteries we'll be using. This, like four inches, maybe three, four inches, should be enough. This will help you solder it better in place. We'll be making our own battery pack because I didn't have a two AA holder, battery holder, so I decided to improvise. So now we have the body of our battery pack, and now what you need to do is solder this one inch piece to the bottom of the battery pack like this. That you've soldered this, these battery this to the battery pack this wire like this it should be the contact should be secure you'll want to take your two one inch pieces two inch pieces and solder them to the top of the battery pack but you don't want to connect it you need to do one for each battery so now that you've soldered these um the two two inch wires up to the positive and negative terminals I went ahead and covered it all in electrical tape so you have your own battery pack. And here's the LED we'll be using. It's a bigger one than a normal one. And you want to connect it to the right um, terminals. So you can just test. You want to do this. want to check if they're actually working. And when you find the right one, you keep that in mind. What I do, I like to wrap the wire around the LED leg and then I'll just solder it so, on. So I soldered this on, I wrapped it around, then I soldered it on. Now this is where your momentary switch will come in place. You'll also need another about inch um, piece of wire and the polarity, This some um, switches don't have polarity so you'll want to wrap it around any end and then you'll just want to solder it on. Like this. Like that. And then you'll want to solder this end of the switch. Like that. Right there. And then this little wire leading off to this. Okay, so now you've got that done. Your circuit is completed. And now you want to test it out. This is a momentary switch. You can use what switch you prefer, but... I kind of like momentary switches. So you pr press it, see, mine works perfectly. Now you want to put your momentary switch in a place you want it. And then your um, LED. And then, your, uh, then you'll cover it up with electrical tape. So now it looks pretty good for a homemade flashlight. And just test to see if your circuit's working like mine is. And now we'll hand it over to my friend who will review it. This flashlight works, runs on two double A, two double A batteries, 1.5 volts each, which equals 3 volts in total, which most LEDs run on. Now we'll switch off the lights to see how powerful this light is, this flashlight is. It looks great. It's going to shine on the floor. It's going to shine on the wall. It's shine everywhere. Okay. And it's gonna shine here. It's gonna shine everywhere. Thanks.